Hello, my name is Tiffany Van Zant, and I'm a sergeant with the Weatherford Police Department. This incident briefing video is intended to provide you with information about an incident that occurred in the city of Weatherford. The video and summary information you are about to view has been developed to provide up-to-date information on what is currently known about the incident. Tuesday, September 27th at 9.30, an employee from First Financial Bank at 745 Adams Drive called WPD to report a white male behaving strangely in the parking lot. At 9.37, Officer Yarbrough arrives on scene and obtains a suspect description and last known direction of travel. The bank employee also made the officer aware that the subject had left behind the broken blade of a knife. At 9.39, Officer Lazo located the subject on foot in front of Olive Garden. As Officer Lazo approached the subject, he began running westbound toward the North Service Road of I-20. As Officer Lazo pulled onto the service road, the subject sat down on the roadway, intentionally trying to be struck by passing vehicles. As Officer Lazo pulled in behind the subject, he observes the subject reach into his pocket and pull out a knife. At 940, the subject runs from the westbound to the eastbound lanes of I-20, almost being struck by several vehicles, and lays down in the roadway. As officers approach, the subject turned and a knife could be clearly seen in his hands. Officer Yarbrough put away his handgun and retrieved his JPX pepper gun. The subject raised up and threw the knife from his right hand over his shoulder and at the same time, Officer Yarbrough delivered one shot from the JPX. Officers continued to give verbal commands to the subject, to which he did not comply. Therefore, a second follow-up shot from the JPX was delivered. After the second shot was delivered, the subject became more compliant and followed the commands of the officers. He was subsequently placed in handcuffs and removed from the roadway. You are about to view two videos from the responding officers. The first video will be an in-car camera from the responding officer. The second video will be a body-worn camera from the officer that deployed the JPX pepper gun. Hey, Penny, he's going on my 20, so knife in his hand. Hey, stop! Stop! Get out of the road now! Get out of the road now! Stop! Get out of the road! Stop! No! No! Penny one at gunpoint. He's crawling on I-20. Stop! Stop! Get on the ground now! No! He stop! 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 Hey, JPX! JPX! Drop the knife! Drop the knife! Drop the knife! Lay down! Lay down! Do not move! I'm going to hurt y'all. Crawl out! JPX, the boy. Crawl out! Stop! 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 Do not move! I've got you. I got it. Go ahead. Go ahead. I got a lead through. Put your hand by your back right now! An extensive search of the area led to the discovery of the knife which had been thrown during the incident, which was collected for evidence. The subject was treated by life care due to the effects of the pepper spray, as well as exhibiting signs of a condition known as excited delirium. 
which is a medically dangerous state characterized by extreme agitation and delusion. Due to the mental crisis witnessed by officers and statements from involved parties, the subject was transported to a medical facility for emergency detention. The subject has no pending WPD charges. Weatherford PD officers responded to a rapidly changing, dangerous call for service and made split-second decisions that ultimately concluded this incident without any loss of life or major injuries. We are grateful for the safety of the subject, travelers on the interstate, and our officers.